Last week, Kizabes J came out and announced how he's going to relinquish uh, running the, post, the petrol station in Insambia. In fact, the Insambia uh, Toto petrol station has been famous for being owned by none other than Kizabes J. Okay? In fact, it is only here in Uganda where people think that being an opposition leader, you don't need to run any business. Yet, in fact, even an opposition leader can do any business. Although these businesses are normally frustrated by the dictatorship in those countries. So, that is why very many opposition leaders normally try to invest in multinationals like Petro, uh, like Toto and others. So, this got to be known when Kizabesije wrote on his Twitter handle explaining on how he has stopped running this petrol station. Okay? And let me first read you this tweet before we continue. Kizabes tweeted saying, after more than 27 years of running Zambia Toto Petrol Toto Station as a dealer, I handed back the station to, to Toto on 19th April 2023. The station has re reopened under a new dealer. I thank Toto Energies for the partnership while it lasted. I also thank our wonderful customers that supported us all these years and the staff who helped run station. Toto, Nsambia Toto Station has been the only fuel station that I run. It is right for Kizabes yet to come out and announce this because government propagandists have always come out to accuse him of having very many petrol stations. He has always been categorical of having one petrol station and as a dealer. Because that tweet was long. He even went on to say that he doesn't own the land. He has been a dealer. So in, this, in today's episode, I've come to explain how someone can be a dealer for Toto. First of all, anybody can be a dealer of Toto. Being a dealer of Toto, you only act as a middleman. For example, if there is a petrol station and I want to be one, the, the one running it, there are some laid out procedure of who a dealer is supposed to be. Of course, you must have some little money to run and Toto will just give you the fuel to sell. And if you sell, you, you'll share the profits on a 50% basis. For example, right now, the liter of petrol is at 5,000. When you round, of course, some petrol stations are selling it at 4,999. It's almost 5,000 for petrol. On 5,000, government gets a tax of almost uh, 2,000 when I round off. It takes 2,000 something. The remaining 3,000, you get uh, the cost of fuel. It can be like 1,000 uh, or 2,000, thereabout. Then the remaining is regarded as profit. For example, if you make 1,000 as profit from a liter of petrol, you have to share the profits with the total energies. Okay, total energies takes 50 percent, and a dealer also takes 50 percent of that profit. So, it is not true that Kiza Besige owned that petrol station, but he worked as a dealer, and there are very many dealers across the country. Anyone can be a dealer, and in fact, he started uh, selling uh, uh, dealing in, in oil and, and uh, petrol before he even ran as the presidential candidate. Okay, so it is true, it was uh, good for him to come out and explain this. It was very good because government propagandists have always come out to accuse him of owning various petrol stations. Okay, I keep on telling people that even opposition candidates are human beings, they have families to take care of. Okay, but the questions must arise is it the government which has forced him to do so? As he relinquished the petrol station on his own peril, okay, what is Vesiji up to? Those are my questions. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I implore you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. Peace.